today Ellie and I are going to learn pottery. Did these amazing sculptures, and now we're just ruining them. <laughs> no, I'm gonna ruin only this one. Which one are you going to keep? I love it. I'm going to keep this little fountain I did. <laughs> Hello, Ellie, where are we? Hi, are you in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> so we are in Park Street, uh, apparently. You got a map as well behind you. <laughs> yeah, well, so then give me a second. <laughs> I guess. Okay, thank you. Uh, where the nightlife goes on, I guess. Mm -hmm. A water pong. <laughs> Cambodia, 10 out of 10. Hello Ellie. Hello. Where are we? So we arrived at Kabalspin. <laughs> no, I wasn't reading. Beh, molto grande, con te di fianco, se alta un metro e una salsicetta. <laughs> Welcome to the work archaeological site. Please follow this path. <laughs> follow this path. <gasps> <laughs> Just for you, Amore, I'm translating. Oh, okay. No problem. Good morning. It's 5.29 and we're trying to catch we're trying. We're going to catch the sunrise at Uncle Wat. It's gonna be an intense day, but I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, let's go! <laughs> It's a shame, but there wasn't really a sunrise because he was faking it's pretty it. Pretty cloudy. I mean, it, actually, the sky is clear, but just over there, where the sunrise was supposed to be, it's pretty. Cloudy. There was like a moment. There was a moment we. Well, it, it was like orangey, you know, and that pink, yes, pink, sunrise, purplish, and then that was the it. moment was over. <laughs> Uh, originally, uh, Angkor Wat is Hindu temple, yes. which uh, constructed from early 12th century, mm -hmm. from 1113 until 1150. Angkor Wat, you know, from 16th century, had been converted from Hindu to become Buddhist. You see, you look to the door. The door normally looks like a mirror. Look like zoom. Outside smaller, inside bigger. Every temple has this, uh, the door design like this because this is a sacred place of the god. When the visitor come from the first door, they need to bend the head to get in. This is the behavior to be respect to the sacred place of the of the god inside. This is a uh, look like a center of the temple. Look like when we put the compass here, it will be zero. Yeah. Okay. We had two ah, okay. uh, from my experience, one in Angkor Wat, another one in Pyramid Temple in Egypt. Over there is echo chamber, look like, look like healing room. Yeah, our Cambodian, when they come to visit Angkor Wat, everybody never forget to get inside the room. Yeah, hmm. because they believe that when they get inside the room and when they come to the chest, this, uh, the sound will be louder. But what is the most, in most, most interesting or most important, they believe that their bad luck, their disease, will be purified from the body. You see here, we have Aptara dancer. The culture of the dancer represents the uh, women in this society before the blind. Aptara dancer, they must be, uh, uh, you know, in heaven with the God. Also different from one to the others. Some Aptara dancer look so young, some look like mother. 
Yeah. How to recognize? They look like a mother. Yeah, you please follow me. <laughs> yes. Ah. Uh, like yeah. Right. Look to the stretch mark. Yeah. On the, the stretch mark. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Look like mother. <laughs> Two words to be said. This, for me, I mean, at least in my opinion, is the best food. I agree. Well, not only just like for how it looks and you know how well we stayed, but for the people around, like the stuff is absolutely amazing. Everyone is so caring. They remember everything you order for breakfast, uh, whatever you like. They're like extra, extra caring. And the owner, it's just the best. So best day ever. Luxury Angkor Villa, I think, Resort is, is called the best, honestly. The best luxury. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our five days uh, in Siem Reap are finished, unfortunately. I loved it. Absolutely. We loved it. Yes. Uh, it's been incredible. It's such an amazing city. We are about to take our first plane after. <laughs> I don't even remember how long after buses and vans and, and tuk tuks and scooters. <laughs> so now plane to go to um, Sianukvil, Sianukvil, Sianukvil. She for sure is better than I pronounce anyway, it. it <laughs> <laughs> anyway, straight to the south to enjoy the beautiful coastline of Cambodia. Ciao! Questo è il nostro amico Howard, è stato gentilissimo con noi. Se vi a Sam Reef, vi lasciamo il suo contatto. Sì, eccolo qua. Quindi possiamo confermare, Ellie, che i cambogiani sono più fighi dei tagli. Even though, like, I love Thai. Yes. That's what we're <laughs> We're here at the airport. International airport of uh, Semrip. There's probably three people in total around. And they're all part of the staff. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but actually, it, has, it looks pretty amazing as an airport, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's go. So, it's beautiful, this little airport. It's super cute. Super cute. The mask is coming. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Love, thank you. The cutest little airplane. Look at this. Yeah. Beautiful. Just three seats. 